Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool floating effect. Now as you can see right here, here is what the effect looks like. You just see my shoes start to float. Now I just created a freeze frame. You can actually have your hand moving. If you want to do that, just maybe, maybe, maybe make it look a little bit more um, realistic. So in this video, I want to kind of give like an editing breakdown of how I created this effect. So up here on the top layer is an adjustment layer and all the adjustment layer does is just for color correction. So here is the color wheel and then here is the color curves. I always encourage you if you're messing with multiple layers, especially if it's in like the insane, the same environment, I always encourage you to use an adjustment layer for color correction. That way you don't individually go through every single clip and color correct it. But that being said, only if it's only if it's in like the same setting or the same scene. Okay, so this layer right here, this is the actual shoe layer. As you can see, freeze frame shoe. So let's head over here to the effects panel right here, and as you can see, boom, draw mask. I literally is what is literally how I created this effect. So let's go ahead and just undo the draw mask, and as you can see right there, that is what the shot looks like without the draw mask. I literally just filmed a shot of just my shoe, and then I applied a draw mask on. Now as you can see right here in the effects panel, you want to go to the effects panel and then find a mask and as you can see right here draw mask so you want to apply the draw mask on to the clip and you'll be asking yourself okay so how would I how would I create a freeze frame um, all you gotta do head over to the retime option and right here click on hold so retime hold and that is how you create a freeze frame and obviously you want this top layer the actual shoe layer um, to be frozen you don't have to have the bottom layer like yourself frozen i just did it because i'm not the greatest actor but if you want to kind of have your hand moving up to make it look look a little more realistic you can definitely go ahead and do that it's all a matter of personal preference so how do i make the shoe actually move well, what you want to do is you want to take the uh, hold on, press on the clip go to the be so go to the beginning of the clip press on the clip and you want to keyframe the position. So as you can see right here, here is a yellow mark right here. Position, and then I, I keyframed the Y axis. As you can see right here, here is the yellow dot. Keyframed it. Let's go to the end. So you want. So basically, you want to start at the beginning. Start all the way at the beginning, holding the clip. Keyframe it. Then go to the end. Click on the clip again and then keyframe the y axis or the x axis whatever you want but in this case since so you can see right here 450 um the x should also be 450 yeah. the x is 450 it was just um the y axis that was keyframed and as you can see right here here's the yellow dot so you're literally just keyframing the position so let's go ahead and just watch the position right here watch this position right here let's go ahead and play it up my uh, mouse right here so right here on the y-axis go ahead and play it as you can see right here the y-axis starts to move and that's literally all you're doing you're literally just keyframing um, the position and that's pretty much um, it so as you can see right here now the bottom clip that's just a uh, freeze frame um, like I said before you can actually have your hand moving um, if you want but in this case I just took a shot of me and then I just uh, froze myself using the um, retime option and then clicking on hold but you don't have to freeze from yourself that's just the look that I went for uh, and down below here is just a music track from epidemic sound and then I just have a black background a lot of people may do it a little bit differently but I personally like the fade to black I think it's a lot easier transition into the next scene but that is all up to you and whatever you want to do to end the video but that is literally pretty much it you're literally just cutting out you're literally just cutting out the shoe right here and then using a draw mask and then you're just keyframing the position and that's pretty much how you create this effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you want to see more final cut pro 10 tutorials make sure to hit that subscribe button i have a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 80 different tutorials or 80 final cut pro 10 tutorials hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you come back for more final cut pro 10 tutorials see you guys in the next one peace